Mm -mm. What you see here, my friends, is greatness. So delicious, so easy to make. It will not break your wallet. <laughs> Hi everyone and bless you all. Today I'm making for you a healing and comforting meal with the king of herbs, basil pesto pasta, phoenix styled. It's so easy. All you need is a knife, cutting board, a pot, and a food processor. Easy to make, easy to clean up, so you can concentrate on healing. Let's get started. For this pesto recipe I created, penne is really the best pasta. Follow the directions on your box. I used two cups so I could get four servings. That's dinner and lunch twice. <laughs> you can substitute for walnuts, but I have about a third cup of pine nuts. We're gonna toast them up on a low heat. Pine nuts are so yummy. They, they taste kind of like scrumptious cookie crumbs, but if they have a stale or metal taste, do not use them. <laughs> My friends, I must insist that you use fresh grated Parmesan. Don't use that packaged stuff. If you really want a quality taste, you're gonna use fresh grated Parmesan. I have here two large garlic cloves and the king of herbs, basil. Spiritually, basil can amplify the vibrational patterns of other herbs. I will make a video about that if you'd like. But there are more than one reasons as to why basil is called the king of herbs. Oh, and it tastes so good. <laughs> People avoid bruising the basil just because of looks. What they don't know is that by chopping it first before blending, it releases an oil that pre-release creates a molecular structure that is more suitable for healing. See, told you this was gonna be easy. <laughs> Two cups of fresh basil leaves, a half a cup of freshly grated Parmesan, a fourth cup of extra virgin olive oil, a third cup of pine nuts, three large garlic cloves, a fourth teaspoon of salt and pepper to taste. Mm -mm -mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but I forgot the blade. <laughs> But you want to go ahead and put in your basil and your pine nuts and blend it up with a pulse consistency. Now in between pulses, you might have to take a spatula and push down your mixture, but oh my god, it smells so good. <laughs> After a few pulses of that food processor, go ahead and add in your garlic and grated Parmesan. Make sure it's fresh, guys. It makes all the difference. Now, the reasoning behind pouring the olive oil in slow is so the mixture can have a chance to be smooth and emulsify so the water won't separate. If you want yours more smooth, use a half a cup of olive oil instead of a fourth. I like mine's chunky. <laughs> well, my friends, there is a reason why lemons are sweet and sour at the same time. It serves a purpose, but for now, just know it's gonna liven those flavors up. It's an optional, but I'm telling you, it is the bomb. <laughs> Usually reserve a little bit of this pesto for my toast, and then I put the rest of it and mix it in with my pasta before serving. Oh my goodness, you guys, it smells so good. <laughs> Just take a moment and look at this beautiful green. Mm -mm -mm, you know you wanna eat this. <laughs> It's time to plate. You can top it with pine nuts and basil, but my favorite thing to do is top it with the freshness of parsley and some extra Parmesan. This is so delectable and delicious. Easy to make, easy to clean up. But the best part is that it is healing you by keeping it green with the king of all herbs, basil. Remember to help yourself so that you can help others help themselves and it keeps going and going until we all raise to a higher degree of existence. Don't ever give up. You've got this. And remember, it is not just your spirituality that can define your journey. 
It is your journey that can define your spirituality. Bless you all. Thank you for watching. And if you feel blessed by this content, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on what is to come.